How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Um, it's, it's been a strange one really, because um, we're playing a team out of our own league uh, that we know sort of quite well to be honest. Uh, added a bit more of a psychological factor. Probably not ideal if I could, not that I'd be in that situation, but if you could choose a final opponent it wouldn't be, wouldn't be these, you know what I mean? I'd probably rather go into it blind, but it is what it is, we're happy to be here, so. What are you expecting from today's opponents? Uh, well, as I just said, we, we, we know them quite well, really, which can be a good thing and a bad thing. They're, they're exactly in the same position, so yeah, it, uh, hopefully it'll be a tight game. They're probably, if someone was taking bets, they'd be favourites, I think. But I mean, we've, we have beaten this season on one occasion, and hopefully we do it again. What piece of advice or message will you give to your players ahead of kickoff? Just do your best. We've had a lot of remarkable run here, really, to be honest. I mean, no one would have. No one would have put us in this position at the start of the season. We've, um, but we've got a bit fortunate probably along the way. We've had our share of luck, but we've probably earned it. And just do your best, really. And how significant is it for your club to have reached the Roger Wood Memorial Cup final? To be honest, mate, it's massive. We hadn't, we had a League Cup final on Friday actually, but before that, we hadn't got to a final since the year 2000 of any description. So it's, um, and there's a lot of people in the club behind the scenes that, that help to keep it going. So it's. Um, yeah, it's for them really, you know what I mean? Without getting too emotional. How has the preparation gone for your side ahead of this final? Um, it's not gone too bad really. Um, we've not been doing too well in the league, so um, pe people have been committing to Saturday football where they've been winning leagues, so preparation's not been as key as I'd like it. But it's been, been quite good. As soon as we've turned up today, the boys seem on it, so I'm happy with that. What are you expecting from today's opponents? Um, very, we know a lot about them because they're from the Wolverhampton League as well and um, some of us are close mates to them, they're a good bunch of lads. They'll be a solid outfit and very organised, um, hard to break down, so it's down to our lads not to get frustrated and keep at, at our game plan. What piece of advice or message will you give to your players ahead of kickoff? Um, just to stay focused and um, not be frustrated with the opposition. Um, they are a very good team and they are very solid, so it's down to ourselves to keep the ball moving and not get frustrated. And how significant is it for your club to have reached the Rotterwood Memorial Cup final? Oh, it's massive. Um, we entered the Birmingham Cup under a different name uh, three years ago in the senior, the lower one, sorry. And um, we got to the final and won it, and it was massive. It was a great day out. So to get to this one and two Wolverhampton teams is big, especially for the Wolverhampton League. It's getting solid every season.
Firstly, talk us through the game from your point of view. Um, I think we started really fast. I told the boys that we need to start fast because, they, like I said earlier, they're a well-organised team. So trying to catch them off guard, I thought if we start quick. A few chances didn't go our way. Um, we had three or four chances within like 10, 15 minutes. And then you start thinking then, is it going to be one of those days? Um, I think we give them their period in the first half, 10 minutes where they got the goal and they was on top for a little bit. And then we've got the second and the third at vital times, pretty, a little bit against the run of play. But then we got on top again and settled down a little bit. Like I said previously, it was about being patient and I think that boy showed that. I thought tactically, tactically today you were excellent. How impressed were you with your defensive display and most notably your pressing game? Uh, the pressing, I think that's what we always base ourselves on. Um, press together. Don't, there's no point sending one player out there to press on his own because he's just going to get tired. So it's always we have to do it together as a team. That's, that's how we build our foundation, to, pre um, to be fair. But we did really well. I think that normally comes free with our lads. We, you don't normally need to ask them about that. They just do it. Um, defensively, there's one error, the corner, which I, I do... I don't want to concede from corners, especially when you set it up before the game, how, who's marking who, who's doing post. But like I said at half-time, that's your one now, don't, don't let it happen again. So I wasn't going to shout and rave at him, I just let it bed in. And lastly, how significant is it for your side to have won the Roger Wood Memorial Cup? Yeah, like I said previously before the game, it's been a tough season. Um, obviously people concentrating on Saturdays with their um, winning leagues and stuff. People following the walls really, that's been a cost because people don't turn up on the Sundays. But to top the season off with silverware, it's massive, I said that before. And the boys, you can see what it is for them, they love it and we'll have a good party.